we're gonna grind the drill and we're gonna grind the primary grind, 15 to 20 degrees clearance, with the secondary, 20 degrees clearance. So we're gonna gradually get more and more angles, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna grind 59 and 59 is 118 included. So we're gonna start grinding it. So I'm gonna grind two flats. Again, this is the primary grind. Degrees. Now I'm going to check the center, see if it's on center. They should both be in the same spot in the yard. So we got 59 and 59 on center. As we go up the drill, on the land of the drill, we just got to make sure we got enough clearance, 10 to 15 degrees. Okay, so now we're going to go to the second area. So I'm going to rough it out for the second area. We're making a four facet drill. trying to split the web so the next grind is going to go into the middle of the web and this one will go into the middle of the web. thin it out for a split point. So I'm going to rough it out for a split point drill. Okay, stop. Come on, grind the split point. Get more light over there. A split point drill or facet. Now let's go see how it cuts. <laughs> the ground. This was a long drill, so you got to make sure you uh, split the point, okay? Because the web will get bigger as you get down on the drill. So we split the point. Now we're going to put it in. Put it in here. It was also a, a tapered drill. We spun it, you know, so it isn't uh, tapered no more. What we do that is for our students, just so they can use old drills.
Now, a four facet drill should be self centering. So I'm going to put it not even, not even centered or nothing. And we'll see if it drills. E70 speed. Two chips. Now you know it's cutting good because you got two chips coming out. Nice cut. Now we're going to check it. See if we got the right size. So I'm going to bank up the drill. The drill is about. 622. Okay, so 622. Now we're going to check the size. So 627 within five thousandths. The drill we made within five thousandths.